Hello everybody, welcome back to FTL Mod Roulette. I suppose we finished the run with the Viper, we didn't win, sad face and all that jazz. But it was a fun run nonetheless. Anyway, time to pick a new ship. And we're starting to get out of room for... I'll just put it next to it, it's fine. 3, 2, 1... We got ship 46, which is already on here. 3, 2, 1... 186... Also on here. <laughs> Alright. 3, 2, 1... 164. Alright. Let's have a gander. Star Trek Enterprise. Alright. So be it. I suppose. I hope there's no custom music, because that usually ends up going bad, but anyway. Star Trek Enterprise NX01 by Industrial Robot. See you when I get everything installed. Oh, Ling's down. Guess I have to pick another one. Um, let's see. I've added a few more, so this is the first time I redid this and end up with another dead one, so... You know, if we're seeing this, hey, we got a winner, right? I don't know which one it is yet, you guys probably will. Alright, we... 136 is the... Wrong. Shortcut. The Raptor. Wow! This one of mine. Alright. Um... No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to keep it in the loop there. There's a reason for it. There's a reason for it. Don't worry. 137. Um, Control G, 137. Rebel Cruiser by Luigi Games. All right, let's go have a look at that one. All right, so here we go. Um, there were four versions, two separate layouts, and two alternates where we were playing cap position or not. You may have noticed that I did not pay attention to the overhaul mods. There's a reason for that. Surprise! Yes, it's that time of the year again. Thought we might as well dust off faster than Christmas and put it back in the game. Anyway, we'll be going with this one. No, this one. This blotchy one. Rebel ship use a cloak. Uh, the other one had the standard color, and I thought, hey, red and green, it's Christmassy, right? So, I guess we got lucky on that one. Um, so what do we got? Shields, cloaking, artillery, please don't be the Vindicator, please don't be the Vindicator, please don't be the Vindicator. Ah, oh, it's the Vindicator. Eh, so be it. Uh, we also have the lower two icons, which I'm assuming is coming from Faster Than Christmas, not actually by this ship mod. Um, so, starting with Vulcan. Well, we've done that before, with varying degrees of success. Anyway, um, let's have a go at it. We'll try to pick up NG as soon as we can. We also have a custom flagship, or we should have. Uh, simple, generic. I'm just going to go and pause the front. So, standard flagship. We may want to get a teleporter then. Hacking, cloaking, mind control, and teleporter. So, completely standard there as well. <clears throat> heavy dual laser, heavy dual laser. Okay. <clears throat> Hull beam and heavy iron weapon. Okay. Advanced combat drone. Anti drone defense and an anti personnel drone. Shield recharger and fire suppression. <coughs> cool beans. All right. Well then, we have power to spare. Is everyone in the position that I want them to be in? Nope. You are going to be our pilot. That's the ticket. Um. Yeah, this is fine. Alrighty then, let's get to it. So. Uh, oh, it even has the little bells to it. Sweet. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so keep in mind the Christmas giveaway is in full swing. So, if you want in on that, now's your time. Mm. 
<clears throat> this is going to take a while, and that's going to suck, but... Because that's the problem with a ship like this. Yep, straight on the O2. Um... Hmm. Well, I might be able to... Nope, never mind. Well, it missed, so it doesn't matter. All right, we are fully charged and good to go. All right, you go fix oxygen. I'll try to pick up an quite quickly. You know, he's got all the cool stuff. Yeah, attack. It'd be interesting if I could tell when the beam was ready to fire. Probably somewhere around now. We got stealth weapons, so we don't need to worry about the shooting part. Mm, I still got hit. Artillery ain't gonna do much for us for quite a while. Alright, come on. There we go. They got the drone. At some point. No, well, that's one way to do it. Uh, why don't you go fix artillery in the meantime? Okay. Get a buffer in there. I wouldn't mind a quick weapons upgrade along with a weapon. Even just doing your average. Uh, we have a clone base, so no. No, we don't have a clone base, so no. Even just a basic laser would help in that case, but. Uh, they got a missile launcher. Huh? <clears throat> um, uh, attack the pirate, why not? We'll eat some missiles. We don't have much evasion, so... We'll be stuck relying on the 75% we get from having cloaking active as well, which still means that we're likely to get hit, actually. See? Just like that. But at least his weapons can't charge when... Uh, we're cloaked, so I guess it's something. 75% fails and a 15% I gotcha. Thanks though. Maybe we can dodge the next one? No. Well, jeez, what the hell? Two 15% chances in a row. Must be Christmas, huh? Um, six fuel ain't bad, but uh, I'm looking towards getting some scrap and gotta get them shields up. Uh, destroy and salvage. Let's get that going. We'll probably... Yeah, easy enough. Okay. I guess we'll go, go here and then see from there. Sure. Uh, it's a missile launcher. And they're probably going to get away to you. Alright, so I'm going to send you out to here because that's where you're going. Eh, you go help. I'm not... I don't have much hope that we'd be able to stop this dude anyway, but you know. Slow weapons and all that crud, you know? <clears throat> He's getting out of here. Well, now he definitely is. People really do overrate the Vulcan, though. Like, whoa, it's such a powerful weapon, it can destroy anything. Yeah, if you got like half a day. Ah, uh, Fleet Pursuit, sweet. You can 
can still keep on going. Uh. Oh well. Just walk straight through that massive engine block. It's fine. <clears throat> Apparently. Okay, look at that. He's not even gonna run. Good. Maybe we can just sit here and shoot him down. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I would like to get an extra up and going. Destroy the first shield laser, shield layer with the first shot of the Vulcan, and then use a base player to take something down. care of the fans. Okay, keep going. You know, attack me, doesn't have any shields for crying out loud. He can hurt me, but you know. We should theoretically be fine. Preferably I take the mini beam out. something. But I'd rather have the minibeam go out so we could still use uh, the dual shots from the pilot. Well, let's level up our pilot and engines and shields. Minibeam isn't going to help us in any of that. Because you can't dodge it and you don't get any experience for shields on it. Halberd beam. You know, it might actually be a better choice than using the uh, Vulcan. At least at the start of things. I guess we can. Yeah, this might actually be better. No. I'll upgrade cloaking, I think. Give us a little bit more time to charge up the halberd beam without any problems. Yeah, it'll help. Can he hurt us? Yeah, he can. Is our gunner leveled up fully already? Yeah, but he's getting close. So yeah, with this we can just go... Yeah, we got a shield layer up, it's fine. <clears throat> just go like that. It'll take longer, and I suppose at this point I could have just gone with the Vulcan, but... Is this... Is it just me, or does there seem to be something wrong with the cloaking image? And by that I mean not enough stuff moving away. The ship doesn't seem to turn transparent. Is what I'm going with here. Hmm. Maybe an oversight. I mean, the paint job was a bit of a rush job, which I'm not really a big fan of. The people just go on and say, "Yeah, well, you know, it's like that. And that's the way it is." Uh, the man's are not that good. You're gonna run straight away, but this time we may be ready for you. We'll at least get one shot off, which will damage four systems, meaning the pilot will move away. So you know, yay and such. Missile launcher didn't go offline, but that's, you know, normal. Hey, you go fix it. And there we go. Ooh. Now we're talking. 
50 for an upgrade there allows me to do Chain Halberd. That's going to be a powerful combo for quite some time. Will we keep the Vulcan? Eh, probably not. Yeah, that's my field, sure. We'll wait a bit longer on the uh, all-powerful combo. Let's go combo. Let's go engine control. We kind of want to speed up and pick up an NG if we can. Will I buy one from a store? <clears throat> Probably not. Do I go out here and sell the Vulcan? Yeah, I think I will. Oh, and a flat gun. <laughs> it's only 10. Get one. Goodbye. Um, upgrades weapons, please. All right, we got something good. Stuff, weapons. The flak would have been nice to get too, but... Well, how much is it? 65, right? How much does this sell for? 25, so 40... If we get 26 on the next bit here, we can go back for it, I suppose. <clears throat> now, let's see what this elf can do for us. Uh, we did not get as much as I thought we would. Um... Where do we want you anyway? Let's go ahead and send you to the doors. Now, for those not familiar with Faster and Christmas, be prepared. Okay, nothing still. Well, I think that means goodbye, Flack. We'll secure it. Well, so far we've had a thrilling amount of combat. Really thrilling. Um, yeah, let's add some evasion, huh? Get up to that dangerous 85. They actually shoot now. Oh yeah, it was um, Santa himself who had issues with that. If you vaguely remember how things went poorly. Like, well, let's fire these and even if weapons get taken out, we should still be fine. And this is probably going to kill you. Isn't it? Yeah. The enemy ship is powering up its FTLs trying to escape. There we go. So we're going to lose like a shite ton of elves. Right? <clears throat> But they only cost 10, so they're kind of disposable, but hey, why not? Ask enough to try and stop the ship escaping. After a brief charge, the elf unleashes a blast of supernatural energy towards the enemy ship. The blast is intercepted by two missiles, instantly transforming them into a large pile of resources and a small bowel of petunias. Making the best of a bad situation, you sweep the ship by and pick them up before continuing your fight. Collected six missiles, one drone part, and 12 scrap. Uh... Good stuff. All right, everybody needs to go to med bay, even though they shouldn't have. But you know, I kind of. Okay, you need to move away now, so these guys can heal up. I don't know to what extent a clone bay saves them. All I know is we don't have one, and we probably won't get one. So anyway, we're good to go. NG are waiting at the beacon with their weapons online. Spending a few rounds one fast attacks against the NG. Support your vessel. Oh, I can't use. Yeah, well, technically you're no longer an NG, but. Oh, yeah, he's gonna eat the thing, isn't he? Then it seems to be aware of which computer of vibes spend in and proceeds to just the terminal. There's a burst of O2, and then you should powers down its weapons, no longer sensing the vibes on board. That's some parts over to repair a damaged computer, along with a unique augmentation as a reward for terminating the virus. A drone reactor booster? Is that a unique? Really? I personally think it's kind of shitty, but... <coughs> we'll set it off at the first store, I guess. So, yay, more scrap and such, I suppose. Sell 10 missiles, we don't need those. Head to the store. See if they got some presents for us. Um, we only have... the uh, whatever. Um...
you can have that, and you can have that. Uh, we're gonna get a teleporter, I think. Yeah, but we're not gonna get it now. <clears throat> Might as well spend it on more useful stuff. <clears throat> right, 90% evasion, that's something. Go here, move to here, go here, move to here. Yeah, okay, we can do this one, and no, we can't, because that does connect to that. Good. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nothing. Good. Solid waste of fuel. Love it. No, I don't, but you know. Yeah, it'll help. It's Christmas, damn it. Ah, they're gonna send Nengis over. Um. Go get it. For the record, um, <clears throat> it's only one shot, is it? Well, we can do this then. Um, ta -ta -ta -ta. There's also a Santa in this game, but that's a crystal, so we're probably not going to be seeing any of that. Um, let's see if I can actually kill the guy. Uh, sure you can take the ship down, it's likely to jump before you get the chance. Probably not, I want to say, but yeah. Ask enough to try and stop the ship escaping. The elf carefully walks over to the console, nonchalantly bumps it with its fist. The enemy defenses begin to falter, but so do your own. The elf begins to give a double thumbs up, but you quickly silence it. Warning, ship defense is compromised, enemy defense system compromised. Woohoo! Well, it doesn't seem to be affected by too much. His shields are still up. Maybe it just lowers the total amount of possible shields to one. I don't know, maybe. Okay, well, he's dead. Problem is, we're gonna have to eat a missile or two because of that. And I don't want to do that, really. Oh, it also took off some cloaking. <laughs> Alright. Uh, elves. Alright, let's keep going. Um, <clears throat> ah, Sultan controls, really better than the Nebula though. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Uh, here we go, and of course with a missile launcher because... Yeah. We have stealth weapons, so that's convenient. I don't think we'll be able to prevent another missile strike, but... May. Well, maybe we will... Yeah, right. Cool. Recon teleport. Um, handy if you ever switch to a clone bay, which I don't think I will do. Uh, spy some local star charts. Cool. All right. Um, here, here, then blah, 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 or something. Give me a sec. All right. Sorry about that. Let's carry on. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. Uh, intruders on board, huh? Uh, um. Hmm. Is that a two shot? I don't know. Um, well, let's just power shields and we'll see. Hmm. Gotta do something about this. Like the best thing I can do would be this. And I will open these up, send them somewhere else, and see if we can get them into Medbay. The level of dude you need to leave. You guys are going to med bay. I don't think you guys are going to be able to get persuaded to leave doors. Well, oh, you will. 
Okay, uh, let's send a human as well. All that this too. Uh, let's cloak here. I don't really mind artillery going out, I'm not planning on using it. Let's do this. We're gonna be able to fix that before anything happens, but... You're almost dead, you gotta go. Uh, you get out, you go in. Ugh, it's the elf. The one guy actually didn't want to go and fight him, but... Oh, there, oh, there we go. That'll work. Okay, see if we can just... Uh, they only brought one dude back. Yeah, sure. And he's dead. You have clearly done a lot of pressure, suddenly turns completely the stone. You'll buy a poor creature, suddenly tear rolls down your cheek and onto the elf's face. Suddenly there's a bright yellow light and emerging like a butterfly, the elf is reborn as an ultra elf. <laughs> uh, ultra elf. You're going there, which means we can hit both of you. I think we hit him. Well, we've got Ultra Elf now. Who is basically great at everything. Which means he might be better off in shields. Because that takes forever to get good at, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, which means you're going to weapons. So you're going to go there. You're going back there. You're going back there. And you're going to sit on that, then. Now, are you almost dead? You should be, but you don't seem to care too much. Hmm. Okay, why don't you go beat him up? Shouldn't be too hard. Nothing we can do here, so... Boom. Ship's still in danger. Well, of course. Uh, come on. Kill poor Roper. There you go. Alright, we need one more of these. Uh, let's upgrade these two. Uh, doors or sensors? Let's do doors. We could put you on sensors then. Me to go to a store without any form of cash, but <clears throat> that's fine, I think. Yeah, the power arm should try to boost. Nothing in here that really screams, I need this. Maybe we can sell the recon teleport. So I guess we go here, 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 here. Yeah, we'll see how far we can go. Um. Yeah, okay. Ooh, can you hurt us? Yes, you can. Let's move you to the door so you can do something. Of questionable use. Alright, and goodbye. Well, you know. Goodbye threat. Done. Alright, cool. Um, so what's the next thing we would actually want to buy? Uh, the teleporter, I presume. Maybe uh, we can look at weapons, but... Yeah, we can look at weapons. Alright. We'll only need the teleporter for the end bit anyway, I think. Just one. Uh, let's the weapon so we're safe. At least for a little bit. Slowly getting up there, which is fine. Uh, 
All right, this is gonna hurt. Yeah. Cool. Asteroid fielder. Eels. Ah, uh, sure. Summoning a level supernatural force you've seldom seen before, they have managed to completely crumple the enemy's engines. However, the feedback is so great, and the poor creature literally implodes before your eyes. <laughs> Told you, they're expendable. Which means you're gonna go back in there, and you're gonna go back in there. Actually, just move to here. Well, at least he ain't running anymore, nor is he gonna dodge anything. Come on. Yeah. Well, we're gonna be on the lookout for a new elf. Go help him. Alright, we'll save this layout again. Let's send you to Medbay quickly, which means you are going to have to go here, otherwise you're going to be injured. I want you to go back to your room. Of course, having him on shield is better. We can quickly vent the weapons anyway. And you can clearly tell I care little about the artillery, as I am not even bothering to power it. Asteroid field, are we going to go for it? Uh, we could upgrade shields first. That'll be fine. We've got cloaking, damn it. And they got a Zoltan shield. A little bit, a bit of luck, most of that is gone. Before my weapons are ready. Yeah, right. There's no point in shooting yet, we won't be able to do anything. Let's just wait for a cloak. Alright, now we're good. Eh, it'll have to do. Took out something. Could be worse. If we're about ready again. Another miss. Seem to be good at that. Okay, he leveled up our Zoltan. Can't be too far behind. There he goes. Another miss. Jane Laser missed one shot every single time he fired it. I expected better of you. Five shots, uh, not bad. <coughs> we only got two. And Albert being, but you know. Here it comes. Nah. Yeah, there's certainly something wrong with the cloaking image, not. Uh, Hiding the actual hull image properly. Oh well. It happens. Here, it'll move to here and enter our exit. Yep. Do we wish to upgrade? Nah, we're doing fine. I want to get a new weapon. Two drones, look at you. Little Mr. All Powerful. He's already running? That seems exceptionally wrong. How long did it take? Five seconds? What? How was I meant to stop that? My weapons didn't even manage to properly charge up yet. Shh. Eh, sure, pair five, why not? 
Let's go, Sevi. Okay, let's go here. We're looking for stores that will sell us weapons. Swanji. Okay, that's nice to sell. I don't need all repair. Okay, you're probably gonna run, right? Not yet, but you will. Um. Come on. Ah, now I now the missile hit. Lame. That's what you get for being greedy. You don't need to wait for cloaking. We've got the thing. And by the thing, I mean we have stealth weapons. Zoltan should be able to take care of that. Well, that's the wrong thing they aim at, but didn't matter. Oh, there's a store. Okay, you go to... You were the gunner, right? Yeah. Alright, let's check this out first. We'll then uh, see if we'll do upgrades or not. We could gamble for a random weapon, I suppose. Uh, sure. It's a Christmas gift. Got elves, cool. Uh, in shops gives you 25 free scrap and pots and weird stuff against the flagship. So, sure. Do we upgrade our halberd to a glaive beam? I wouldn't mind. Hell, let's go crazy, right? Yeah, we'll sell this one. No. I believe. Um, there was something else I wanted it to do. Yeah. Let's get some more elves in here. Get some Christmas shenanigans going. I guess themselves don't do anything, so, you know, I'm not going to try to shoot them or anything. I don't think they do anything. Has little uses weapon but contains magic, yeah. Okay. Um Right. Got ourselves another store, we'll wait as long as we can for us to visit that. Especially well armed pirate ship, hand over one of your crew members. Let's try this. We're probably gonna lose another elf, but you know. Allow an elf to offer himself a slave. Elf happily wanders up to the slavers and they pay you surprisingly well. So this well, down the hole, the elf slips out of its bindings and breaks open those of the slave next to it. The slavers quickly realize what's going on, but the fugitives quickly escape back to your ship. I actually got a crew member out of that. <laughs> uh yeah, elves. You're good at fighting, which is good because you're gonna go into that teleporter. So here we sit and wait for the glaive beam to do its thing. <coughs> Here's Johnny. Yeah, cloaking ain't helping you. Um, nah. It's a good thing our evasion is top notch. Saying that, don't I? It's true, though. Cool. I got a bit of chip. So we're coming across 
well-equipped ships, basically because we already have quite a bit of power in our weaponry. I've been told that that's what causes it, at least. I have no reason to believe they're wrong. You'd think it would all be more depending on your reactor power, but apparently it's just a few systems that dictate that weapons being the only one I know of, but I would hardly believe that it's only dependent on your weapons. I mean, what if you play a ship that doesn't even have a weapon system? They exist now, you know? Don't think the game will remain easy and such. Okay, we can go here and then we'll have to visit our store. There's another one down there which we may or may not want to get to as well. Sector, what, three, four? Does that make sense already? I don't know. Could be. And goodbye. this store and we'll uh, we'll pick up teleporter I guess it's available systems teleporter we'll get a backup battery sure so selling this actually costs us 17 scrap oh they have different prices to them too well we can get rid of them if our car goes full uh, get healed. Teleporter's all the way over there. We'll put you in. And we'll see if we can pick up a mantis or two along the way. One would be fine, two would be better. Keep in mind, Flex will have the um, fire suppression, so it's not like I'm going to be able to rock board with fire or anything, but you know. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this one, though. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you're starting this series. Feel free. So I should pull back something liking and or something if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, bye.